Okay, now it's time for the Geek Lab, spending a little bit more time to talk about something in the weather news more in depth. And you may have heard me talk about dry lightning all morning long, and you might be thinking, well, of course, lightning's always dry, right? <laughs> well, here's the situation. This is the area that's covered by this today. So again, it's the high Sierra off to the east side uh, of the Sierra, uh, up and down 395. And the reason why is usually when you see a red flag warning or on this, call it a, a fire weather warning, it's because it's hot, it's windy, and it's dry, or some combination of that. But you know what? In that that location that's not that hot it's not that dry and it's not going to be that windy until you get this scenario what we're going to see in that spot is the buildup of clouds and yes a few thunderstorms but the issue is this they're going to be really high in the sky and as we get some of the rain it's going to evaporate in this huge pocket of dry air underneath when you get rain evaporating it actually creates a lot of wind so you get the lightning and then you get a lot of gusty winds and you get no rain and that is the recipe for dry lightning which can be a huge fire risk i remember years ago there was one huge dry lightning event that started 600 fires in one day and that can overwhelm any fire department or regional fire department like cal fire so we always watch for the dry lightning days just in case something comes up